We are on our second day of early voting for this August special election. Voters are deciding on a measure to make it harder to amend the Ohio Constitution. Now, for an off-year election, requests for absentee ballots are actually up. But there is some controversy about the proper way to request a mail-in ballot. Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trout breaks down what happened and why two groups say they are being treated differently. Groups around the state are having difficulties with Ohio's new election law. I am very much for simplifying these procedures, uh, <laughs> making sure everybody gets counted. Austin Beigel supports issue one, the proposal to make it harder to amend the Ohio Constitution, which will be on the ballot on August 8th. But the change in how absentee ballots are requested has caused confusion for his team. Up until the beginning of this year, there was no specific form for requesting absentee ballots. But a new law went into effect this April. It requires just one specific form. Mike West with the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections explains that the Cleveland Jewish News published an outdated form. Sending in the wrong form caused dozens of readers to have their requests for mail-in ballots rejected by the Board of Elections. That's what the law says that you have to use one specific form. But a week later, supporters of issue one made the same mistake, but they get a different result. Within hours of the Vote Yes team admitting the error, Secretary of State Frank LaRose sent a message to boards of elections that outdated ballot requests can now be accepted. Coming from an area, part of the state, in the county that skews more towards the vote no. Um, oh, you know, you can't use it. And then when it happened with the vote yes, it just it came across as being very hypocritical. I mean, Secretary LaRose is a leading proponent of the vote yes. Jewish voting rights advocate Jody Jackson explains people in her community should have the same opportunities. So we asked Cuyahoga County why one group got approved and the other rejected. That's kind of dangerous territory for me because that's really the Secretary of State's call. We reached out to LaRose to ask why, especially since West told us that LaRose was aware of the outdated ballots in Cleveland. The secretary did not respond. The whole thing just kind of smacks of just a sneaky, manipulative, um, last ditch effort to get ahead. Uh, this shouldn't be a partisan issue. The if we're going to use the old forms and they should get counted, they should all get counted. You can still apply to vote by mail until the evening of August 1st. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting. All right, so here are just a few things to keep in mind over the next month. Early voting continues weekdays from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. through July 28th. Now, the week of July 31st, hours run from 7.30 in the morning until 7.30 at night. Also, the boards of election will stay open an extra hour on August 1st. There will be weekend hours on August 5th and the 6th. So if you're planning to mail in your ballot, keep in mind it must be postmarked by August 7th.